Hey, how's it going, everybody? MLG YouTuber back with a sick intro. Uh, no, uh, but we are doing a, uh, a new video today. We haven't done a video like this in a long, long time. We're going to be playing a custom zombies map, which I would like to do more of in the future, depending on how this goes. But we'll see. I'm not going to make any promises because usually I make a promise and um, I don't upload. I know. Great. But... We're going to be on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. We're going to be playing... Where is it? Resident Evil Baker Mansion, which is essentially Resident Evil 7, but in zombies. And I played a tiny, tiny bit of it. And honestly, it seems pretty good. So we're going to we're gonna check this out. It's It's got like the, the typical... Uh, like treasure hunts and puzzles and everything it looked pretty cool so we're, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it and see what's going on all right we're in the game now uh like i said i have played a tiny bit of this so i'm not entirely new to it like i know about boom bet that scared at least one of you a little pt jump scare on the image but yeah i've, I've played a tiny bit of it uh not really enough to sink my te teeth into it Jesus, what am I even saying? Um, but, you know, I play a tiny bit of it. I I like it. I like what I played. And honestly, I was going to play the entire thing and not record. But I was like, you know, I got to record this. What am I doing? Just playing this and, and wasting a perfectly good video. So we're, we're, we're recording it. Uh, and as you can see, like, there's little items you got to get. So crushing tool. You need a key for this. It's just like Resident Evil, uh, which is cool. So basically, we're going to try and get out of this spooky house now. If you played Resident Evil 7, you already know what's up. This is a not, a, uh, it's not a good house to be in whatsoever. And it's even worse when you're in zombies and you have infinite hordes chasing you. So right now, the doors are pretty expensive early on. Uh, 1500 here. 2000 over here. So really, the goal is to uh, just kind of build points. You got the M1A1 over here, and I believe you have the, uh, what is it called? The M1 Grand over here. So I'm going to pick the M1 Grand up. A little Looks like the uh, model from Call of Duty World War II. Hopefully I can reload it before. There we go. Some versions of the M1 Grand allow, or don't allow you to reload until uh, you actually empty the gun, which is kind of dumb. But this one's alright. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open up over here. Now we got Quick Revive. Can't prone for points. Big rip. Oh, they're cooking a hand. Yeah, this area in Resident Evil 7 when you first get in here. And they're all eating at the... The table, it's pretty spooky. But yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot in here. There's a treasure map thing, but there's not really a whole lot in here. Like I said, I have played like this first area, but that's about it. A little max ammo. I like how the zombies are reskinned to be the dudes from Resident Evil 7. Bruh, don't. You were not about to down me already. I'm not that garbage. So yeah, now we just gotta build 2,000 points and get into the garage. And there's a stupid ladder in here, or in the garage, that is really annoying to get up for some reason. But it might take a few tries, but we'll get up there. Alright, that boy's dead. I thought I could go through here, but you can't, which is unfortunate. Good job, map developer. Faking me out right there. Tried knifing and holding X on this. Didn't really do anything. But yeah, if you look outside, you can see like the rest of the estate, which is pretty neat. You can see that little weapon that Jack had when you were having the chainsaw battle. Hopefully I can get that. I doubt it, but that'd be cool. There's 
spam these guys down. Alright, we got 2,000, so... I need to go ahead and get my booty to the garage. Oh, death machine. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take a death machine. Where's the last boy? Alright. Let's go ahead and open the garage and get up this stupid ladder. So, there's really nothing in here, I'm pretty sure. Except for floating rocks, apparently. So this ladder is a pain to get up. Oh, you have to mantle. Okay, okay, so I, I was holding A, and it actually mantled me up there. So that's how you get up there. If you don't mantle, you just fall down every single time, and it's super frustrating. So yeah, I got the key from right here, so we're going to head down. And that opens the main hall, and that's about as far as I got was the main hall. I'm hoping you can actually play through, like, most of the Resident Evil 7 map, or if it's just the Baker Mansion, I'm not sure. So, we're gonna open this. So, 1,500 debris right there, I believe... What did that say? Oh, pick up second dog head. So, yeah, just like in Resident Evil 7, you have all the puzzles. Okay, I probably need to get that guy here. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. I already downed. I'm literally dog water. Okay, well, I hope this map doesn't get really hard because uh, that would be unfortunate because I already downed. I'm going to pick up the treasure map. All right, now I got to juke these guys. Okay, I'm buying that. I didn't really want to buy that, but we're buying it. What? What'd that say on my screen? Not enough souls filled to proceed. I guess we have to fill souls. I don't see any orbs coming out, or any souls coming out of them. Hmm, I don't know. A bunch of random noises going on in the background trying to scare me. It ain't gonna happen. I beat the regular game, though. Scary enough. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna open up here. I picked up a treasure. Yeah, okay, so that's just power. What is this? Thompson? Ooh, I need to get that. I need to get that ASAP. I need to go get Quick Revive again, too, because I'm trash and died already on round five. I'm just going to throw these grenades. Oh, the old, old wheelchair that Grandma would sit in. Oh, double points? Okay, wait. I can buy the Thompson. Give me that. The muzzle flash on this thing is a little obnoxious when you're aiming down sights. Yeah, I'd like to try and beat this map. I have no idea how big it is. I'm going completely blind. So, I guess we're going to be on a little adventure. There goes double points. Oh, insta kill. Alright, I need to go buy quicker vibe again. Did I just get another insta kill? I used insta kill to get another insta kill. Alright. Let's get that quicker vibe. Wait, can I open this? No, okay. Oh, that dude's fast. Any idea how fast oh, that boy fast. I'm fast as fuck, Don't down me while I'm getting quicker ride, please. Can I walk faster than him? I think I can. Just barely. What the heck, man? Little dirty rat. Alright, uh, up here, up here. Door, 1500. Let's open that. Let's kill him. Things are about to get intense. I'm gonna need, like, jug or something soon. What the heck was that? Uh, okay. Shooting it does nothing. I guess there's random ghosts that pop up in this map. Oh, alright. Oh, the box. I need something that's, like, killer. There we go. I will happily take that any day of the week. Because these, these hallways, man, 
They are they are just tight. This I can tell like without jug, I'm probably gonna get swarmed. So I'm glad I got this thing. Cause I am a little worried. I do not want to go down again. Oh crap! I'm about to run out of ammo. I know I'm not gonna be able to reload this thing in time. All right, we're going back to the Thompson. I need to keep one, see what I can open. I don't think this is the last guy. He, he's not sprinting. All right. Maybe I should keep two so I don't have a psycho sprinter. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep two. All right, can I open this? Or should I go for 1150? I should probably go for the cheaper one at the moment. Let me reload my M249 saw. Right, I'm going to go for the cheaper door. Oh, alligator. Treasure map. Oh, that's in the uh, expensive room. There's another ladder. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can go up that ladder. I do not want to test it with these little boys around. Yeah, 2650. Oh my god. Yeah, so the treasure was like right over there on that counter. If I need to go down there, I can. Okay, that door is 1400. Can I go up? No, nah, I can't go up this ladder. Alright, well, I'm, I'm probably just going to end the round because I need to build up points unless... Mm, now nah, I'm going to go for the 1400 door. Screw it. Oh, yeah, this is the bathroom. Drain the bathtub. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even remember what that did in the, old, in the actual game. Oh, that's the thing for the... Um, Okay, so I'm curious to see how this puzzle is going to work in a custom map. Because in Resident Evil 7, you like rotate the object to match up with the uh, the shadow. I want to see how that's going to work, or is it just like I apply it and it's just insta-done? Either way, it's cool. Yeah, so I just instantly apply it. That's neat, though, that they even have something like that at all. Oh, they, they're probably going to jump scare me. Okay. Oh, is that Jug? Aw, oh, you dirty rat. I can't drink it? Come on now. That's not nice. That's a really... Who the heck would use the bathroom right there? Alright, I don't know if it's going to be really intense in here, but I think we're going to go around in here. I hope I don't die. I don't think there's any items. I think it's just the next door. It's kind of a shame. Can't open the fridge. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna end these boys. Oh, double points. Oh, there's jug bottles everywhere. I just now realized that. That's mean. All right, we're going in this tight space. All right, let the hordes come. I need to kill at least one guy with his double points active. Come on now. I hope... I really hope they only come from this area. Ooh, death machine. Let's go, baby. I think they only come from that area. That is nice. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna spray away... With this good old death machine... Yeah, that area is kind of cheese. I almost don't want to open the door. Although I probably need to. Spray that little boy down. God, it feels good having a decent gun, though. It just sucks when you have to reload it. Okay, let's get back here. Twelve fifty. 
Ooh, stamina up. Oh, I need the power, though. Rip. Where is the power? I know it's... Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, Widow's Wine. Okay, what is that? An AK-74U on the wall? Teddy Bear. That's playing the Resident Evil music. That's neat. I would say I'm worried about copyright, but pff, not really. I don't make money. Scorpion key. Let me prone on that. I don't get points for that. Boo. Okay, so where the heck do I put the scorpion key? Not enough souls filled to proceed. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. Because last time it said that it wasn't actually filling any souls when I was killing them near the area. Oh, that dude actually managed to get across. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to do that. All right. Let's use the old scorpion key. I probably have to open that 2650 door. Or can I open this? No. I'm just going to kill him over here and see if it actually fills souls. Yeah, I don't know. It really doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Oh, well, I gotta build points anyways. Ooh, there we go, baby. Honestly, I'll take that with how crowded this map is. Which I'm glad it is, because it's accurate to the game. Wow, we're already on round 10. Okay. Um, okay, so I need 600 more points. Can I use the phone? No. Ooh, big boy double points. Whoa. I don't know where that guy came from. Oh, he spawns right in front of the door. Uh, I'm getting trapped on his spawn. Oh my. Yeah, it's starting to get a little claustrophobic. I'm going upstairs. I'm going to open that door. Is that PPSH? I hope it's the good one, not the one from Call of Duty World War II. Oh, first dog head. So do we have all the dog heads? I picked up two. I, I think there's three. So maybe not. What the heck? That's totally not creepy. Oh, okay, so that's what the scorpion key's for. 44 magnum? Alrighty then, does some damage, but it has like no ammo. <laughs> I'll keep it, I guess. Alright, so we got the dog head. I don't think there's anywhere else to open. So I'm going to head back to the door and see if I can get out. I'm pretty sure it's three dog heads. I doubt I'll be able to get out, but I'm going to just check. Yeah, missing parts, so I need to get the last dog head. Nothing in this room other than the weird mold crap that I can walk through. Rip. Oh, I can... Okay, sweet, so... 
That's that's nice. Safer and music's playing again. Not enough souls to proceed. Okay. I don't know how to fill them. Like, I. Maybe if I shoot. I haven't really tested shooting zombies over here. Maybe they'll actually fill. Other than. Or unlike the other one. Yep. Oh, it uh, goes to the teddy bear. Okay, okay. Alright, that makes sense. So, we're gonna fill them at the teddy bear, and then we'll be down the basement. Which is where things are going to get really cla uh, claustrophobic and scary. And I'm not going to be a big fan of that at all. And we have a AK-74. I don't even know if I should keep this 44 bag. I mean, yeah, it does damage, but it's one bullet. Are you kidding me? Alright, hopefully it's not like a billion souls to fill this thing. I just want Jug as soon as possible. I guess Widow's Wine would probably do just as good, so at least I know where that is. I don't know where Jug is. Bro, how many souls do you need, Teddy Bear? Death Machine? At least I got plenty of points. There we go. Oh, it gave me a uh, Speed Cola. Nice. Very nice. Oh, this is the... Bro, why you gotta jump scare me? I barely even saw it, but oh well. And we got the third dog head. Okay. We're actually making some progress now. So I'm gonna go buy... Um, Widow's Wine. Right, it won't let me buy Widow's Wine. I'll buy stamina up then. I don't know why it's not letting me buy widows. That little hallway is a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I think I'm gonna hit the box again, get rid of this 44 mag, because this this is just pathetic ammo. I'm gonna need something better than this. Okay, I'm not trading it for that garbage. I'll cycle through again. I like how they got guns from each game, though. That's always nice. Get some variety going. <sighs> Alright. Slide. Okay, I can't even freaking slide. I'm garbage. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that, like... Okay. Sure. I'll take this gigantic minigun any day of the week. Absolutely. Okay, we're getting out of here. We're putting three dog heads up. Oh, wait. Did I get the treasure from that one room? I th I don't know. I'm going to check that room one more time before we leave. I literally cannot slide. It may have just been pointing at the book. Oh, I put my Thompson on the table. That's nice. I'm not ever going to use it again, but still nice. So it says not enough souls to uh, proceed. Where's the teddy bear in this area then? Is it on the other side? Oh, that'd be weird. All right, whatever. I'm, I'm putting the three dog heads. We're getting out of here. All right. We're entering uncharted territory. Oh, there's the crushing tool. So that's what that is. Oh! Thank God he didn't triple slap me to death. 
All right. Okay, we crushed that. So what the heck is in here? A hatch key? Uh, bruh, I opened a door just for it to tell me I need a key to open the next one. All right, whatever. Let's open this, get out in the courtyard. Link not active. There's teleporters on, on Resident Evil? Okay. What gun is... Oh, that's Modern Warfare Remastered, I think. All right, I know he's. I know that there's probably something hidden in the bushes. Still can't get points. Okay, great, great map design. No, it, this map is pretty fun. Apparently, it's the dude's first map. Like, congrats on that. I mean, it could use some work in some areas, but. I like the idea of having an adventure-style zombies map. I don't like the fact that I went to the exact same door and it started playing the, the same music again, though. I could use a patch. Can I even... I don't, I don't think I can access this yet. 5,000. Maybe I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, okay. Yep, soul box. All right, let the zombies pour in. Use this freaking mini gun. Just blast them down. I'm still a little worried being in this small area without any sort of defense perks. That was the fastest reload of a minigun in the history of minigun reloads. Good god. I'm not complaining, but dang, that was faster than the M249. What item is that? Is that another minigun? Oh. Can I not get that? Okay, let's not down. Let's not do that. All right, can I get this gun, please? It's not letting me get this gun. That's unfortunate. I guess the guy did say that the map has bugs. It may not be entirely finished yet. But... I hope I didn't fill up the souls for the teddy bear just to have a glitch gun that I can't get. I hope it actually opened a door or something. That'd be unfortunate. All right, well, whatever. We're going to go open this $5,000 door and just act like that didn't happen. Maybe one day I'll be able to get to it. Ooh, jug. Of course, of course. Oh. Not enough souls again. So I guess let's go link the teleporter. I don't really... That seems like a short teleporter. But, oh well. I want that gun, man. Can I get on the other side? And no? Okay. <laughs> Rip. Alright, so let's go back and see what the heck changed, if anything. Alright, I'm I'm guessing the teleporter just takes me back to that little tent. I'm just gonna see anyways. No, it does not. Oh, I'm now in the bedroom. Hatch key. There we go. Okay, okay. All right, can I... I can rebuild the barrier on the other side. Let's go. I'm literally now a zombie. Except I'm rebuilding a barrier instead of taking it down. All right, we're going back out. So now we can go open the little hatch. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it took me to the um, Pack-a-Punch. Even though I can't do anything with it right now. Because I don't have enough money. 
So I guess I take the teleporter to go to pack a punch. All right, makes sense. Can I drop down? Oh, it just teleports me out. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so now hatch key. <laughs> Alright, is it gonna do that every single time I pass that? Map creator, if you're watching this for whatever reason, uh, that could use a fix, but I'm sure you probably already know about that. Alright, so let me go put the hatch key in. And this guy honestly needs to die. Alright, we're, we're going... We're crawling like rats. What is the heck is that? Zombie eyes? Dude, there's, they're gonna jump scare me down here. Come on now. I'm ready for it. I got a minigun. I'm not afraid. Oh, so now we're in this room. Uh, a what? A, f a, f a fart? <laughs> I mean, it's cool that they got the... The flamethrower from the game, but why the heck is it called Fart VG? A little sus. Is there anything else I can pick up in here? Oh my god, I picked up... Bruh. I need jugs so bad. I'm about to just... I'm about to just save up points and just get jugged because this is just getting ridiculous. Max ammo. Okay. Alright, I'm going straight for Jug. I don't care about anything else right now. The ammo on this thing's a little bugged. I, I don't know how much ammo I have. But that's okay. Because we got Jug. And that's all that matters right now. Because I'm sick and tired of dying. You can keep reloading this thing forever. Well, the guy did say that the game, or the map, has bugs. As long as I can beat it, I don't really care. That's all that matters. Okay, I need to go buy Quick Revive again. It's going to disappear because I've died 24 billion times. And there we go with the music again. Everybody's favorite music. Let's go. <laughs> oh well. Still not as buggy as Cyberpunk. Okay, so is there anything else to get in here? I, I don't think so. Bruh. God, man. It's a good thing this minigun just tears them apart. Oh! That was just close, man. This map is just... I'm not good at this crap. These tight corridors... Mm. Give me this. I went from one minigun to another. I hope that that's not the whole map. Or no, it did say... Okay, so there's areas where I could fill souls. Okay, so I filled that one teddy bear. I wonder if... Oh, I should not have ended that. Hold on, let me buy speed cola. So I wonder if filling that teddy bear actually just gave me... Or if it just only gave me the gun or if it opened... Some, it did open this door. Oh. That gun. I'm sorry. This thing has a lot of ammo. Good lord. There we go, our favorite song. Let's go. 
does okay damage considering how th much ammo this thing has. Of course, we're bopping our favorite tune right now. Everybody's favorite Resident Evil song. I don't even think this is from Resident Evil. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm picking that up. I don't even care. Alright, so we gotta find another teddy bear to open this. So that is our objective right now, is to find another teddy bear. Two hours later. Yeah, there really is nothing in here. You would think the teddy bear would probably be in here. Five hours later. Is it in here? No. Ten years later. Hello. Teddy's not in here either. Two thousand years later. I feel like a complete moron. Is he in the garage? No, I don't know. I don't know anymore. One eternity later. Okay, well. That's utterly depressing. I I guess I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh well. Ripperoni. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, I had to start a new session, obviously, because I didn't want to just end the video and um, not finish the map. So it does turn out that the map can be beaten. There is a boss fight. And I did find where you fill the third uh, souls at, so or the third area to fill the souls at. So we're here. It's actually the summoning key that's floating above. So you guys didn't really miss anything. I just did everything that I did last time. Um, I did find out that if you get max ammo on this 44 mag, it's absolutely insane. But yeah, we're basically just back on track after that horrible death last time. I was so confused. So yeah, we just filled the souls of the summoning key, and I imagine this door will open. And then we can progress forward with the map. I have no idea how close we are to finishing it. I know there's a Bible ending and a boss fight. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, when you get max ammo on this 44 mag, this thing just pops off. Because it starts off with like six shots and then you get max ammo and it's it goes like a hundred. <laughs> but yeah, second playthrough is a little bit easier. I'm hoping that this will be the f uh, final playthrough and I don't have to do all this crap again. Because <laughs> that would be unfortunate. It is nice using the actual Resident Evil 7 weapons. Flamethrower has like no ammo without a max, so I'm not even going to bother. Plus, plus it's kind of broken. So we're just going to fill this up. I probably, obviously before we do the boss fight, whenever that is, I'm going to need to gear up. So I'm going to need to pap. I'm going to need to get more perks. So there probably will be a little bit of time I spend... Just killing the zombies. Oh, here we go. Path is cleared. All right. How am I supposed to get that? Like, what? How exactly am I supposed to get that perk bottle? That's a little dumb. Yeah, this map does need some help. And Wait, is this already the boss fight? Don't tell me this is already the boss fight. Uh-oh. Um. Okay, you're you're gonna get out of my way. Thank God we have at least the 44 mag. If this is the boss fight, I'm gonna be a little upset because I was not very prepared. Um, but we do have the 44 mag. That should carry us a little bit. But we do not have many perks at all. I just saw an eyeball up there. Do I shoot the eyeball? 
Oh, I do shoot the eyeball. I'm gonna hit it with the 44 bag. That thing has some meaty health. Okay. I'm throwing nades. It's gonna keep playing our favorite favorite track over and over, probably. Ooh, Insta. Please tell me that gives me more damage on this eyeball. No, it doesn't look like it. Another Insta. Dude, drops are just insane in this map. Oh, that was close. I can't even get time to actually shoot the eye. There's so many zombies. And this room is a little odd. I need to go get the other Insta. Oh! Barely. I'm going up this. And I can't. Dude, this room is just terrible to fight in. I'll have to... Like, I don't know when to actually stop hitting the zombies and, like, focus on the eye. Oh, Max. Alright, I'm going up. There we go, some... some meaty damage. All right, we're almost done. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Uh, are there more eyes I have to shoot? Uh, looks like it, but it didn't do any damage. Let me try one more time. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I hope there's an actual boss and not just eyeballs. I mean, I know that in Resident Evil 7, the game, you fought a dude who's just... And I'm... Oh my god. I need more perks so bad. I need more perks so bad. Alright, so I'm just gonna run this cycle. I'm just gonna run around. When I get right there, shoot the eye. That's the, that's the play. Hit it back here, too. Alright, I definitely preferred this location over the other. I have a thousand shots in this, I forgot about that. I almost feel like this does more damage than the 44 mag. Alright, there's another eye down. What gun is this? The grease gun? Why would I want that? Alright, another OI ball. This is a weird spot. Ugh. Oh, I can't jump. It's not letting me jump. Oh my god. This okay. This is just Am I stuck? Okay, I don't think I'm stuck. God, this freaking room sucks. And now I don't even have a quick revive. So if I make one mistake, it's game over again. Great. I'm just not going to kill any zombies and just hoard them. Hopefully they just stay in the same group. Almost there. Almost there. Alright. Is it the final one? I'm going up top to buy ammo for the 44 mag. Nope, there's another. 
How many I- Oh, I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way. How many eyeballs do I have to shoot? God, I do not like- I'm not a fan of this situation. I really wish I had quick revive. Yeah, I think not shooting the zombies is definitely the way to go, though. So that they don't spawn in terrible spots. There we go, we're getting some good DPS going. Alright, any more eyeballs? Oh, good lord, that one's gigantic. Okay, we need to... We need to re-engage the route. It's kind of jacked up at the moment. I really hope there's more... Th I I don't know, like, part of me hopes there's an actual boss fight where I fight somebody, but at the same time, part of me doesn't because I'm just going to get absolutely destroyed. So it's like, either way, I'm kind of, like, screwed right now. Like, I'll be disappointed if there's not an actual boss fight, but I'll be dead if there's an actual boss fight. Oh, I might be dead now. Oh, my God. Alright, so it's over. You may now escape through the garage door. Oh, that must be the Bible ending. Please tell me I can get back to safety and buy Juggernaug and Quick Revive. Thank God. Jug, 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 jug. Alright, we're buying that crap right now. You have no idea how good I feel knowing that I can actually buy Quick Revive again and not die on the boss fight, or, well, you know, eyeball fight, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't really call it a boss fight, but it's still something, I guess. At least we're back back to safety, so I imagine the Bible ending is probably turbo freaking expensive. Press, wait, what? Uh, oh, there's more to the map. Okay, neat. So we're not done yet. That's cool. Maybe they just faked me out. I don't know. I'm buying this. Or maybe the Bible ending's out here somewhere. What is this, PPSH again? What are we looking at? Oh, there's some guns up there. I just want to know where the Bible is. There it is, 45,000. All right, so now we got to get 45K and we'll be done. We would have escaped the Baker estate, the Baker mansion. Resident Evil 7 and Call of Duty Zombies done, hopefully. If I don't die before then. But yeah, now we just got to build points. What's up here? Oh, just the two. Okay, so you can buy ammo for those. Alrighty, I guess we can just train out here. It's probably a decent spot. I'm not picking Death Machine up because I need points. And I would pick this up, I imagine. It's probably a lot of points. Yeah, 2,500. I'm just going to stick with these two guns. And just build points that way. Onward to 45k. I'm probably just going to train them up in a group and spray instead of just killing them when they spawn.
I don't even know if this thing is actually good for points. It doesn't really seem like it. Because it actually kills kind of fast. You know what? We're going to buy the PPSH. Uh, it's World War II PPS. Holy crap, but the... <laughs> he, he increased the fire rate, so... That's good. Maybe this thing will be decent for points. Better than the, uh, Albert or whatever. <clears throat> I'm probably not even going to pack a punch since I'm solely focused on points. Wow, there we go. That's better. Much better. And here we go. There. There it is. Ooh, double points too. Actually, you know, I'm going to end this round as fast as I can. Pick it up for the next round. Yeah, PPSH is definitely the play. A lot better for points than the Albert. Oh, yeah, we're so close now. We're about to escape. Escape the freaking mansion of death. Can't wait. 25,000, or not 25,000, 2,500 more. One more round, brother, and we'll be out of this god-awful area. Be out of this miserable mansion of death. Oh, you know, I'm just going to use this. I don't even care. Don't even care. I'm just going to pop the nuke and we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to safety. Boom. You survived 20 rounds. And it's done. I only died once that that uh, game. Thank God. But yeah, uh, the map was pretty cool. It had bugs. Uh... I will admit there were some problems like with the music playing over and over when you go to the exact same spot and not being able to pick up some of the rewards. It had issues, but overall, I heard it was the, the dude's first map. Congratulations. It was a pretty dang good first map, despite a couple flaws. Uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. I wish I didn't die on that first run because I didn't know where the summoning key was. Or I didn't know that it was what I needed to fill souls to. But... Regardless of that, I had a good time. I want to try and do more of these videos. We'll see how long the editing takes. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to make any promises, but I, I would like to do more of this in the future. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Share it to people. Turn the notification bell on. <laughs> Got to get in all the uh, YouTuber quotes right there. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video.